Hi guys, welcome to the November edition of Pickups. We're starting off with Tony, who has a gigantic bag full of goodies for everyone today. Yeah, actually, so I actually have, I've got three bags. Yes. Three, three bags he full. Makes, <laughs> he makes our pickups look tiny, but hey, he's Tony. Mm. Oh, well, the majority of them are like 50p, but I'll, that will be later. Um, yeah. Right, start with some PSP stuff. I'm sure. Why do we not? Right, basically, uh, first things first, uh, Street Riders, just a cheapie, this is a 187 Ride or Die, the console game, but on the PSP. Uh, I've got the second of the Macross games on the PSP, which is Macross Ultimate Frontier, uh, Japanese import, robots, fighting, annoying singing, the usual crap. Just, just Tony's the idea of heaven in brackets. Just a quick. It's not got damn blue hedgehogs in it, it's all right by me. PSP, um, are they region locked? What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Are PSP's region locked? No. no. They're not, region so you free. can. Yep, yeah, region free. Oh, region okay. free. That, you just handy. literally slap the UMD in the back and I'll okay. go. Don't need, don't need a Japanese account or anything. No, so. okay, that's good. Just don't have a PSP go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, the PSP go, actually, I was always tempted to get one of those just to have a Japanese account. Yeah. Because you can download all the stuff off the store. And it doesn't cost as much as buying them on disc from Japan. Can you so upgrade the, the memory on yeah. that? Yeah, not a lot, but you can upgrade it. I don't it. imagine they come with much. No. You know, no, I think it's, it's like, what, 15 gig, and you can upgrade it another 15. Oh, that's so, right. So, uh, you get about 30. Which, th these only take up, like, one or two gig. They're not big. That's good. Um, mm. Very cool. Right, another, another Century's Episode game. Uh, another Century's Episode portable. Uh, I've shown other ones on uh, before, on the PS2 and stuff. I've got the uh, PS3 version. Um, to say about that. Um, a little couple of collections of uh, PSP um, network games. Uh, Go Puzzle, Lemmings and Sudoku. It was about a pound or just over a pound. That'd be worth it just for the Lemmings. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah, a exactly. budget label for the ladies. Yes. <laughs> uh, and same with this as well. You've, you've got Beats, Flow and Siphon Filter Combat Ops for some strange reason. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Spot the odd one out. You yeah, know. <laughs> yeah. You've got sort of all these girlfriend friendly games and all of these and all of a sudden they throw in Siphon Filter Combat Ops <laughs> just for that, that, you know, that bad time when they just want to kill things. Um, we all know well, that yeah, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't actually kind of like go that way, I just thought I'd be nice, you know. <laughs> but, um, we won't. Like, the, the first of a couple of Yakuza games I've got to show, um, or Ryu, Gai, Kotoku, whatever you want to call them, these are the Black Panther series. Um, I, I can't remember the actual name for them, but it translates as Black Panther. Um, on the PSP, which is an all new story, um, I'm not opening them yet. Oh. It's. Um, all new story and everything, uh, all new cutscenes, but it's all set in the same city. All new characters and everything else, and I love that stuff. So not uh, released in the UK, unfortunately. No, or, or America, or any English language. I mean, you could probably get ISOs, but I don't do that. So no. you could probably get an English hack ISO. Actually, really translating for nearly every game. Though, yeah, so. yeah, there is. So, so you could probably get that. The Yakuza games, they're all set in the same kind of universe. Yeah, it's Kamurocho. Kamurocho. They're always yeah. set in a little area. It's a, it's a fictional area, but it's it's based on a real area. Yeah. Japan. I've actually watched videos on YouTube of people actually going to the areas it's actually based on, and it's like, is that? It's like that is the area. You're like, oh my god! You know, I, I just yeah. thought the whole thing was fictional. And it's not. They're taking little sections. It's not Kamurocho. It's called something like um, Kamachoro or something. Mm -hmm. It's very similar. It's yeah. like really similar, and like certain areas are actually in the game. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, what's only what's for Christmas now? <laughs> Tickets to Japan. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Um, right, some assorted PS3 stuff. Since I've done that, I'm going to go straight onto these. Uh, Ryo Ga Kotoku Kenzan, which is another Yakuza game. Uh, Japan only. It was actually the first of the PS3 um, Yakuza games, as they call them. Um, and it was. Set in the old times. An early one. release. Yeah, but, but I think it's the end of the 1600s. I think it's like, you know, the, the end of the 17th century in Japan. And obviously there's, there's no Yakuza in it, but it wasn't called Yakuza in Japan. <laughs> so it, it was just like, you know, like a dragon. That's what Ryo Gaga Toku basically uh, sort of translates as. Um, what about text? Is it, is it heavy, heavy based? Heavy there based? are some fantastic translations for this. Oh, okay. They, they even have the, a whole gameplay translated on YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh, a guy called KHH... For how much longer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. not for yeah. longer. <laughs> guy yeah. called KHH Subs, so check him out if you're interested in Yakuza on, on this game and you just want to see it in English, mm. check him out. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty good, um, pretty good. 
I'll say three dates Yakuza 3 just never come out and talking of uh, other Yakuza games that never came out there's Yakuza 5 or Ryo Gagatoku blah 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 I'll repeat myself um, did he actually officially get a full pack? <laughs> I blah, think blah, only blah. the special edition <laughs> <laughs> I think only the special edition that's the one that comes with the actual hairband thing they're wearing <laughs> uh, no I think it, it, it comes with a uh, Speaking of special editions, didn't you point out to me a special edition console or something? Yep, there's, yeah. a, there's a special edition um, Yakuza 5 console. Yeah. And it comes with this beautiful box. I and, remember uh, seeing it. Really absolutely. Nice. I yeah. think I saw that on YouTube. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It is gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. Um, the console itself is quite nice, but the box is just amazing. I mean, it's, mm. it's mad to actually box. Is, uh, box. Is it weird colour? Is it yellow? Or it's black. It's black and it's got like gold embossed yeah. Yakuza symbols on yeah, the Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen an unboxing of it. Yeah. yeah. It's like really nice, but uh, again, it's the same sort of thing as Yakuza 4, and it's in Japanese. There are translations on games facts and uh, various things like that, but there aren't necessarily as good a translations as there are for Kenzan. Um, but there's enough to actually get you through the game, but uh, not probably explaining the story that much, but enough to get you through the game. Very strange, very sort of wacky in some How long are they games now? I mean, they, they quite long. Games. You, you can do them in about 25 hours. It's quite a lot. But there's a lot of content there. If you kind of go around doing everything, you're probably looking at about 50. So it's like an open world RPG ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's very RPG ish, but at the same point, it plays like Final Fight. Oh, okay. So you just wander around and beat people up, you know, um, and wander around the town. It's not like GTA, you can't get in and out of cars and, uh, and that sort of thing. And you can't just randomly beat people up but random people will come and try to beat you up and kick their ass. Oh, so, uh, sounds, sounds good. Tell the Gracie's F for the PS3 if you've been to get that for a while finally saw it for a tenner so uh, awesome price. all complete and everything so picked it up so, so it's just a typical Tales of game lots of blue hair lots of swords real time fighting RPG thing yeah they not just announced is it Tales of Zesperia for power release isn't it for the PS3 uh, no, uh, I know the one you mean. Yeah. It's um, yeah, it's on its way. Yeah, it's on its is way. Is it Vesperia with a Z? Is it? No, no, it's not. Um, I can't actually think of it. There's actually two. It's the second yeah. one you're actually talking about. Yeah. Um, because basically you've got Telegrace's F, and then you've got Zillia. Tales of Zillia. Tales of Zillia. And Tales of Zillia Two is coming soon, and also Tales of Symphonia One and Two Collection. Yeah, which is the Wii game and the GameCube games, game yeah. on the PS3. Um, they've got Vesperia on the PS3, but it's Japan only. Lots yeah. of extra stuff, extra mm. costumes, and uh, have a, an extra character as well. Mm. All the stuff that would really annoy your daughter, basically. So there's, uh, <laughs> there's a dog that smokes a pipe. What tense is that, mate? <laughs> yeah. right, back on the RPGs, One Night Chronicles 2. Uh, again, a tenor. So um, pretty cool because it comes with the first one as well. So you actually get like oh, the first one and the second one mm. in the same Super thing. Yeah. yeah, so it's not, I already had the first one. Buy one, one get one free. Or at least buy two, get number yeah. one. Free. Yeah. One thing I will say is that the servers are long gone for it. Yeah. Which is a shame. The servers are long gone for it. Mm. Um, they actually come with like the code and it works as well. I'm really annoyed because the servers are gone. Uh, <laughs> you know, so. so many older game servers are being switched off every yeah. day. It sucks. Especially with the PlayStation. Yeah, um, it sucks like crazy. But yeah, you know, it's, it, it's not like an online reliant game, but it's just the online slice of it is very nice and it is, a, you know, a big addition to it. But you, it's not necess necessary, you know. It, it's still just a good, well, relatively decent Japanese RPG, so, or modern JRPG. <laughs> on the um, online RPG thing, I, I got Final Fantasy XIV on the PS3, but that was essentially because it was just a stupid buy at the moment. Um, it, it was a teller. Mm. It was a teller, and it comes with a month's free, which is about eight or nine pounds, something like that. So you're essentially paying out two pounds for the game. Mm. So you know, can't argue with that. No. So um, I mean, I played eleven to death, and it, I kind of like didn't even like it, and I was still playing it, and uh, it really annoyed me. But I just thought, what the hell? I'll just play it for a month, maybe two, and then just sort of give it quits, so and I get money's worth out of it. So. Yeah. Cool. Um, still some more. So what do we have next? Right, next up. Uh, so the only PlayStation 2 game I didn't pay 50p for, uh, which is Super Robot Tyson Alpha 3. 
Oh, it's more of a traditional robot Tyson sort of RPG robot and things. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it's it's you know it's just a big mixture of them and it's more RPG-ish. I kind of covered some of them last time, but this one is just like the only traditional robot Tyson I actually have. So all the rest tend to be offshoots and uh, and uh, just mm. copying out the variations. So yeah, that's one. Um, next up, no, I did not play to have ninety nine for that. Um, but um. Uh, yeah, Chocobo's uh, Choco Dungeon, Final Fantasy for the Wii, kind of a sort of little dungeon crawler, sort of simplistic, almost childish sort of dungeon crawler, but just wanted it for the collection, I'll stick it in there, I'll probably play it sometime, it doesn't look too bad from what I was playing of it, so uh, simple enough. Chocobo, what was that based on? Chocobo. It's a big chicken. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy. Yeah. It's, like a big, it's a big ostrich so chicken thing you ride in yeah. Final Fantasy. Yeah. See, me and RPGs, we don't really get along, so <laughs> yeah. when you talk about these things, I'm kind no, of. No, like, you were right, right? That's yeah. why I'm asking. Yeah. For the Vita in Japan, they just bought out a. Um, what was that little memory card called for the PlayStation? Um, you put it in. It was like a. It was like a VMU. Is their version of the Oh, really? I can't remember. What and it's basically, called. you had like a Chocoboo game on that. Yeah, yeah. Similar to yeah, yeah. The, the Chow game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In Japan, and it's on the Vita free apparently. If you've got yeah, a yeah. Japanese account. <laughs> right. Overlord Dark Legends. Um, come out actually after all the 360 and PS3 versions and stuff, I believe. Um, it's okay. Sort of fable-ish, really, but you play the bad guy. So. It's kind I of think that's underrated playing bad guys in Wii U. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. so you just basically go around throttling your minions and stuff, and uh, generally like being chickens. evil. <coughs> you know, so. Boom Blocks Bash Party. I got the first Boom Blocks. Yeah. And, uh, the compilation last one. Yeah, so uh, you know, it's uh, it's pretty fun. So. Uh, Steven Spielberg. Yep, Steven you? Spielberg. Present, so mm. expect Did dramatic music, sharks, and an alien on a push bike. <laughs> Did he have something to do with the blob as well, though? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I remember mm. that. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. I'm wrong with a lot. And there's no guns that <laughs> have been transformed into torches or radios. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro Bike, uh, basically by the developers of Excite Bike on the N64. Um, it's the same kind of thing. Just if only they would have released Excite Box for the Wii in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I still might pick it up on some. Yeah, you know, uh, I've got the import, you know, one, so I might pick it such up. Such a cool game. Yeah, but then again, Excite Truck's still awesome. Mm. It's just like Excite Box is just a little bit better. It's. Uh, Do you got Transformers in it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's a magic like word for some people. Isn't Transformers it? weird. Yeah, but they all look like childish locusts and mm. weird insects. It, it's all right though. It looks cool. I will, I will get that because it's, it's not actually that expensive to import, so I will get that. Insecticons? Need I say more? <laughs> Once again, Wii U, region free, is it? Wii. No, no it's not. Sorry, I've got, but I've got an import Sorry. one, so oh, okay. I'm running around import stuff. So. Which I got and sold to him. Um, all for um, Tatsunoko versus Capcom because the Japanese version had loads of different characters and this one, had one, different character. one different character had loads taken out of it mm. but the music yeah the music is so much better than yeah. Japanese Tatsunoko versus yeah. Capcom it's just we're talking a thousand times better yeah. go it, check it out on YouTube it's just worth yeah. it if you're familiar with the Japanese shows that it's mm. based on it's just awesome Gacha Man characters as soon as you hear that Gacha Man <laughs> music start oh yes <laughs> you get the old tingles don't you? oh yeah totally <laughs> totally um, even the Casa and stuff like that. Mm. Cool. Uh, Sean White snowboarding uh, on the on the Wii. Different game to the um, like the PS3, the 360. Mm. Well, like, like is generally the case with the Wii. You donated a copy of that to me recently. No, that was a snowboarding one. That was World oh, Stage. Okay. World okay. Stage that was. Um, there's there's uh, Sean White snowboarding, Sean White snowboarding World Stage, and then Sean White skateboarding. Because so I ordered this, and they sent me two copies of. Uh, Oh, World right. stage, so yeah. that's why it wasn't worth uh, fussing and getting it back. Um, Telltale Games, uh, Back to the Future. Oh. Um, it's basically a point and click adventure game thing. Is that different from oh, yeah. the PlayStation 3? Exactly the same. Is that the same game? Exactly the same. I actually really like it. Um, it's, it's kind of weird. Voice by original characters? No, but they sound a lot like them. Oh. They sound a hell of a lot like them. Um, probably have problems with uh, old Michael J. Fox doing his voiceover. But um, we're not going down that route. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Microphone goes flying. But yeah. Um, but yeah. I mean, it's actually it's not bad. It seems uh, it's it's like 
five episodes basically all put onto one disc and if you can pick it up for about a five it's not bad um, I'd rather have a disc version than have it on I've got it, I've got it on Playstation Plus on the PS3 okay. and uh, you know so it's yeah, on nine consoles worth of stuff on his PS3 so. <laughs> but yeah so uh, the one thing I would like to try on the Wii is Ghostbusters yeah, yeah because yeah. I played the PS3 version yeah an Xbox 360 yeah. version but I know that the the Wii version so was different. kind of cartoony it's so different it's so yeah. different yeah it's uh, uh, just the whole using nunchucks yeah, yeah you, have, you, have to, you have to have a go of it sometimes yeah, yeah that's I mean the Wii's are so expensive to buy these days aren't they yes <laughs> they're, they're astronomical yeah, they're probably about 15 to 20, 20 yeah. Yeah, is uh, it uh, and yeah. the back catalogue awesome yeah Tons yeah. of shovelware shit party crap, but if you can sift through it, there's, there's like at mm. least 100 and 150 yeah. games that are worth actually buying on the mm. Wii. So it's not just a few titles, there's, there's a lot of good mm. games on there. I think that might be my next pick. But Tatsunoko vs. Capcom is the main reason to buy a Wii. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said Monster Hunter, but now it's on the Wii U. So. Mm. Well, the PS3, if you can pull up the Japanese frame, but, um, which he can, <laughs> which he has done since he was a teenager. Uh, that will do it for uh, my first section of pickups yeah. so uh, that's that